We start at the top of this hour with a case of kidnapping and murder of a Cincinnati woman. WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nimmo joining us live now from Cincinnati Police District 3 headquarters. Taylor. Yes, yeah, Cincinnati police said this all started Friday evening when they got a call for reports of shots fired in a Westwood neighborhood. Now today I spoke with neighbors who say they heard those gunshots Friday evening. Heard five shots and then an immediate two afterwards. So it was like pop, 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 pop. When it first started, I said, oh, that sounds like gunshots. And then I thought, no, it couldn't be. The neighbors I spoke with asked that we not show their face on camera due to fear for their safety. Call 911 and um, next thing I know today, people are saying that there's a woman dead. Court documents state 32 year old Lance Miller shot 36 year old Caitlin Lynch, then drove away with her inside the vehicle. Miller drove to Tennessee. Deputies got in a chase with Miller early Saturday morning. The chase started in Wilson County and ended in Cheatham County, Tennessee. Deputies used spike strips to stop him on I-40. They then found Caitlin Lynch dead in the front seat of the car. It's heartbreaking. I mean, she's got two little girls. I spoke with the stepmother of Lynch's two children. We, we knew about this Lance guy. We hadn't met him yet. We were trying to get his information through lawyers. She says Lynch and Miller had a relationship. Well, Lance came to live with them. Um, I believe it was either Sunday or Monday of this past week. And the girls have been talking about Lance for weeks because their mother had been FaceTiming with them. She had put his number in their iPads said that was their new stepdad. Have the kids, are they aware of what happened? They are aware and um, it, it's kind of sad with their reactions, to be honest with you. It, it's very traumatic, so I don't think it's hit them. The incident also traumatic for neighbors like Andrew Kenton. I picked this neighborhood because I'm a combat vet with PTSD and it's quiet. It doesn't make you feel good. Um, I, I will be in therapy this week because of it. I already have issues with feeling safe. Now Miller is charged with murder and kidnapping in Ohio, but right now he's currently in the Wilson County Jail, which is just east of Nashville. Reporting live from CPD District 3 headquarters, Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News.